Welcome to Module 3, Creating Questions in Lectora. In this module, we will talk about how to create different types of questions in Lectora. It is recommended that you take each module in this course in sequence. If you have not taken Module 1 and Module 2 yet, you are highly recommended to learn the basics before starting this module. You can come back once you feel prepared. By the end of Module 3, you will be able to create multiple choice question, true or false question, drag and drop question, as well as fill in the blank question in Lectora. Now, let's start with Unit 1, Creating Multiple Choice Question. In this unit, you will learn how to create question and choices, as well as how to create feedback of correct and incorrect answers. We will also talk about how to set up the value points and the number of attempts allowed. We will build on the project that we have created in Module 1 and Module 2 of this course to create multiple choice questions. First, open the file and click the page where we want to place the question. Then, go to the Test and Survey panel, click the down arrow of Question button. In the drop-down menu, click Multiple Choice. A window will display and allow us to edit the question. Enter the name of the question. The name will display in the list of pages in the navigation panel. Enter the number of point value. In case that learners are not evaluated by how many points they get, enter zero. Then, type here the question that you would like learners to answer. In some cases, you would like to insert an image associated with the question. Click the drop-down menu here and import the image from either your device or the media library of Lectora. Double-click the cell in the Choices column, enter the statement of Choice 1. Then, double-click the cell in the second row and type the second choice statement. Use the same way to enter the third choice. You can add as many choices as you want. To delete a choice, click the Delete button. Once you finish inputting choices, select the correct answer to the question. Then, we will need to edit the feedback content of each choice. Click the Feedback tab on top of the page. Select the checkbox of Enable Feedback and leave untouched the Correct and Incorrect Feedback option. Select how the feedback window will be triggered. In this example, the instructor used multiple choice question as a formative evaluation rather than a summative evaluation. Therefore, an immediate feedback is more suitable here to make sure learners understand what's discussed in the unit. If you want the feedback to be displayed when learners exit the page, select the Unprocessed question. Click the row of correct feedback in the table, and then enter the text of feedback in the message field. Click the row of incorrect feedback in the table. Enter the text of feedback in the message field. If you wish to allow learners to try multiple times once they give a wrong answer, click the Attempts tab. Take the checkbox of Set Maximum Allowed Attempts and enter the number of attempts allowed.
Once you finish editing, click the OK button at the lower right corner of the window. And you will see the question and choices being displayed on the page. Drag and drop them to wherever you want in the page. Now it's your turn to practice. In this activity, create multiple choice questions in Lectora. You should create at least three choices for the question and provide feedback to learners on both correct and incorrect answers. Learners are given two attempts in answering the question and will gain five points if they select the correct answer. If you're not sure how to create a question and choices as required, you can go back and watch the video anytime you want. Now, you can pause the course, go and complete the activity. Once done, come back and resume this course. After completing Unit 1, you should be able to create multiple choice questions and choices, create feedback of correct and incorrect answers, set up the value points and the number of attempts allowed in Lectora. Now, you can move on to Unit 2 to learn more about creating questions in Lectora.